What's up guys? Um, so today I wanted to take a look at my kind of special edition of the Exorcist here. Um, so I just got this on Amazon US. Uh, it was 50 bucks. Um, they did a couple different versions for the 50th anniversary. Um, there was a, I guess, a full Bible that you could have gotten, <laughs> um, which is pretty cool. But I just ended up getting this version because I, when I was late to the party, um, I just got it now versus whenever you're supposed to pre-order it. Um, but yeah, I guess the Bible version and all that I'm sure sold out almost immediately. So not sure how many they made of each one, but this version is A-OK -okay with me. This comes with everything I would ever need exorcist wise. Uh, so here's our cover. We've got her uh, looking very happy there. <laughs> and then we've got Exorcist with 4K on the side. And then on the back, you have uh, the window. When we open this up, everything's in there pretty snug. And this is a nice uh, hard case. It's not a little shitter case, this is actually a nice hard case. We have a steel book. So with our original cover here, and then the Exorcist on the side. And on the back we've got her levitating pretty awesome so nothing that wraps around the whole thing or anything like that but still pretty cool and then we've got here extended director's cut and original theatrical version um, so there's a ton of discs in here let's see what they all are <laughs> so this is how they did the discs um, there's only two and then or two places to put discs and then they stack on top of each other so let's pop them all out and see what we got so I'll start with the blue blu-ray side first so the first blu-ray here is extended director's cut here's the first one our second is the original theatrical version and I don't see region numbers on here so I'll, I'll throw these in and make sure that they're not region locked I'm typically gonna watch the 4K's, but I'll make sure that the Blu-rays are not region locked for those of you that are interested. So specifically for this one, because <laughs> this is the one I'm actually gonna wanna watch, which is the, the special features. So I will put this one in and make sure that it's not region locked. And then I'll also test the other ones for you guys. And then 4K wise, we've got the first one here is the extended director's cut. There's our extended director's cut on 4K. Our last one here is the original theatrical version. So for me personally, my favorite cut of the movie is definitely the extended cut, um, or the extended director's cut, I should say. Um, so we will check that out for sure. But just some, some scenes in there that I definitely prefer. Um, let me show you this cool picture on the back with all the discs removed. So this is the image inside the steel book here. Pretty crazy. Okay, so otherwise from that, this is our other uh, thing that's in our case there. So got the steel book and this. This is kind of a flap cover, a little holder here. So that just pops open like this. And then let me see what we've got in here. I'm not sure what this is or what they call this exactly. I'd have to look at the listing again, but essentially it's a piece of cardboard. Then looks like we've got a poster. Let's go ahead and check this out. Looks like it's double sided. So it is double sided, but they're kind of the same image. So this one is pink. And this side is white, so the exorcist, and then this part on the bottom is white. And on this side, the exorcist, and the part on the bottom is pink. Don't ask me why, I'm not sure. <laughs> and then, got some lithograph photos here. They are double-sided, so we'll go through both sides. Him and the priest. Homegirl. The famous alleyway. Oh, there we go. Pretty awesome picture there. You can see the old camera they're using. It's awesome, huh? And then everyone remembers this part, I'm sure. 
And on the back side here, we've got another pretty famous part. More camera. Director with the priest. And the levitating. <laughs> pretty awesome. So cool that those are double sided. Get a couple cool pictures. And then lastly we've got a booklet here. Front and back. The scariest film of all time. We've got some pretty red coloring there. Scariest film of all time in 1973. So it looks like we've got different uh, news articles that wrote about it. And then we've got a couple things about actors. Actress. Linda, Jason Miller, Max von Sindo. Probably fucked up that name, but the priest. For those of you interested in your exorcist trivia, here's some questions for you. And then we've got the the stairs there to end it off. So <laughs> pretty nice little booklet here. Um, they definitely put a lot of thought into this. I'm not sure what the uh, like the the higher value versions of this came with versus what I have here but in my opinion this is all I really ever need um, for the exorcist I guess so let's go ahead and pop in the discs and uh, let's see what's on each one and if they're region locked Jeez. I don't know if you hear that sound or not but it's pretty creepy <laughs> let me turn it off so we can hear it So that's some nice uh, sound for the bonus disc here. <laughs> um, so we've got audio options, just got English, uh, subtitle options, we've got looks like pretty much every subtitle you can think of, and special features here. So we've got behind the scenes, Beyond Comprehension, William Peter Blatty's The Exorcist, and a featurette, Talk of the Devil. And that is it on this one. So I assume those are probably two pretty long uh, featurettes or bonus discs to warrant their own disc. Um, so let's go ahead and throw in one of the Blu-rays and see what's on that one. So this is the Blu-ray of the extended director's cut. Um, so it looks like we do have special features on here. Okay, so this looks like it's the rest of the special features. Um, we've got the commentaries, Raising Hell, The Exorcist Locations, Faces of Evil, and then we've got a ton of trailers, TV spots, and radio spots. And yeah, nothing, nothing's region locked. It worked fine, so they must be all region Blu-rays. So just to add that note. And then uh, let's throw in the 4K. So we've got a little bit of a different layout here in the beginning. Different picture at least. So we've got play, scene selection. Got some nice, uh, some nice sounds going on there. <laughs> Audio, we got English. Subtitles and commentary, which is probably just on or off, yeah. So let me go and play. Let's just see what kind of audio we're getting. I assume it's going to be 5.1. Um, I don't know if they did a... Oh no, it's Dolby Atmos, actually. Didn't realize they did an Atmos mix for that. So yeah, that's pretty, that's pretty awesome. So I've definitely never seen the movie in Atmos. Um, so that's going to be a cool experience. I'm pretty excited about this release. Um, yeah, if, you, if you're an Exorcist fan, I think this is definitely worth the pickup. So that's about all we got for the Exorcist 50th anniversary that I've got here. Um, I'd say that's definitely worth the pickup. Um, definitely I'm going to be enjoying this soon. I didn't realize it had the Dolby Atmos mix either. That's pretty awesome. So <laughs> very excited to rewatch this um, with the extended version too. That is pretty awesome. So figured I would just put or show a couple other Exorcist things here that I got. Um, so this is the Scream Factory version of Exorcist 3. They did a 4K release. Um, I heard mixed things on Exorcist 2. I'm not even sure if that one has a 4K release, um, but 
just figured I would mention that this one does exist <laughs> and they've got a 4k disc of the theatrical cut and it looks like it's Dolby Vision and DTS 5.1 so it doesn't look like it has Dolby Atmos no just 5.1 it's stereo with Dolby Vision which is fine um, and then we got a blu-ray theatrical cut and a blu-ray director's cut so no 4k of the director's cut but I have I haven't seen this one anyway so I don't know how the difference is or if there is a big difference so if you guys recommend one way or the other please feel free to leave a comment and I will watch that version instead <laughs> this is a, from a SDE which is a um, they, they make Dolby Atmos mixes they did a uh, Atmos mix for tubular bells which is the the, the essentially the exorcist uh, theme song more or less so I just figured I would show this that I have this and this is also a, a Dolby Atmos mix. But yeah, pretty pretty cool little thing to have there. Uh, I didn't really know that until after I had bought it. I kind of get most of these releases just because I like to have nice Atmos mixes and just kind of listen through them. So this was definitely an awesome pickup. So I can definitely recommend this. Um, but yeah, that is it for my Exorcist kind of collection that I've got going on here. So, uh, yeah, if you guys have this, or if you have the Bible version, uh, feel free to let me know below what you guys think of it. And, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Since I have my nose, since I have my...